Hey guys, welcome to session two. Okay, so lesson one, we learned about the three kinds of love, eros, phylos, and agape. We learned about our individual love languages mm -hmm. and our spouses, and we learned how to love our spouse in a way that matters to them. Exactly. So now we're getting into lesson two, which is personalities, two becoming one. Two becoming one. What does that even mean? Well, that's what we are going to find out right now. Okay. Exactly. All right. Yes. God's mystery of why he created marriage in the first place. Okay, so we're going to jump right into scriptures. Awesome. At the top of your page, you see we have Genesis 2 and then Psalm 139. Starting with Genesis 2, God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I'll make a helper, a companion. God put the man into a deep sleep. As he slept, he removed one of his ribs and replaced it with flesh. Mm. God then used the rib that he had taken from the man to make woman, and he presented her to the man. The man said, finally, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh, name her woman, for she was made from man. Therefore, a man leaves his father and mother and embraces his wife. They become one flesh, mm. two become one. Two become one. Okay, I still don't get it. So Let hopefully the next script, yeah, please. <laughs> Psalm 139 says, oh yes, you shaped me first inside. Then out, mm -hmm. you formed me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God, your breathtaking. Body and soul, I am marvelously made. I worship in adoration. Mm -hmm. What a creation. You know me inside and out. You know every bone in my body. You know exactly how I was made, bit by bit. How I was sculpted from nothing into something. Okay, so that verse clearly says that God makes us on the inside and out. Mm -hmm. body and soul. So in the first passage, both of these together, we see God created man and woman to help each other in this life, in this thing called marriage. Mm -hmm. And the two of them somehow become one and that God made us intentionally inside and out. That means he programmed our computer like before he made, made the hardware. It's like <laughs> he knew what personality he wanted first before the body that he wanted. Yes, he made our personalities. I think... He even made our personalities before he made our bodies for a reason. And I think he knew what kind of people he wanted us to be, who he wanted us to be on the inside, and has something to do with our spouse. <laughs> All right, it's time to get to work. Good. Okay, yeah. On your worksheet, you'll see, briefly describe your personality. Okay, that means the personality that God made, your natural God-given personality. That's your personality traits how you see yourself. Just use short words or phrases for this one. Yep, and then briefly describe your spouse's personality in short words or phrases again. Yep, and then when you're finished with that, write down three major differences between you both on the inside. Okay, so answer these questions individually and then rejoin us when you're done writing. So go ahead and push pause now. Okay, you back? Now take some time to disclose and discuss what each other wrote down and then rejoin us again when you're done. Yep. So go ahead and push pause now. Okay. Did you guys talk about your answers? Do you want to share ours, babe? Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. Let's share them. Okay. So for the first one, briefly describing my personality. Mm -hmm. I said I am very type A, I'm very schedule oriented, I like checking off the boxes, I am very focused, I um, perfectionist tendencies, um, and kind of, you know, structure rigid, not very outgoing all the time. <laughs> I, would, I would say the same thing. Okay. If I had to describe all those things, firstborn, type A, leader, perfectionist, lists, check off the boxes, organized, structure. It would, one word, it would be taskmaster. Oh, yeah. Taskmaster. That's yeah. hard to say. <laughs> but you master your task. You have a very one-track, focused mind. You accomplish your task. Um, I think your personality is also very generous, very loving, mm -hmm. very kind, very sensitive, very compassionate towards others. You're also very faithful. <laughs> Thank you. What about you? What are your personality traits? What did you say? Um, well, I'm also a firstborn mm -hmm. and type A personality, but I also have the creative side, the arts, the, the author, the painter, the songwriter. Um, I'm also very P 
people oriented. Mm -hmm. I like to people watch, people observe, people talk to. I like to make friends all the time. I like to ask people questions and yeah. find out what's going on in their head and why they wear certain clothes or why they have this certain <laughs> tattoo yeah right so i wrote down for you that you are very um spontaneous very fun loving definitely a, a people person but you also are um highly competitive and like to get things done correctly and so you have some of those first born tendencies but you're definitely more creative <laughs> yeah and I, I think we would agree that our biggest differences are I'm people oriented, you're mm. task oriented. Yes. <laughs> and we we could be at Walmart and I don't even remember what we're shopping for because <laughs> I'm looking at people, looking at outfits and hairdos and He's not kidding. I'm like, Dana, did you see that <laughs> tattoo on that guy's leg? And she's like What guy? What was there even a guy in Walmart? I, I don't even remember who you're yeah. talking about. I don't remember what we're there to shop for. And she doesn't remember any people being in the store. So yeah, big differences. But you need, okay, so what we need to know is these are our natural personalities that how God made us. Mm -hmm. And he made us that way intentionally. Yep. That means on purpose. He made your natural personality traits different than your spouse on purpose. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to read Romans 9.20. It says, who are you, O oh man, to answer back to God? Will what is made ask its maker, why did you make me like this? Yeah, so God made your personalities. And if you don't like your personality or something about your spouse, well, we need to take that up with God. <laughs> it's not their fault and it's not our fault. We need to accept our differences. Because when we accept our differences in our personalities, your marriage actually takes on double the pleasure. Right. Yeah, double the personality. That's perfect. Yes, of course. Okay, so you see on your worksheet, Galatians 5.26. That means we will not compare ourselves with each other mm -hmm. as if one of us were better than the other or worse. So we won't compare which one's better, which one's worse, because mm -hmm. God made us that way, and God does not make mistakes. We have far more interesting things to do with our lives. Each of us is an original that's Galatians 5.26 in the message translation. Wow, so God made each one of us an original on the inside. Original personality traits, like snowflakes, kind of. No two are alike. Yeah. All right, so next on your worksheet, we're going to be writing down three major similarities mm. between you both. Similarities, yeah. Okay, three personality traits that you both kind of have that are similar to each other. Write those down and rejoin us when you're done writing those three things. So go ahead and push pause now. All right, you got three. Now go ahead and discuss those three that you wrote down with each other and rejoin us when you're done. Discussion time. <laughs> push go ahead pause and now. Push pause. Yeah. Okay, did you discuss your three similarities? Hopefully, you guys had three things that was kind of like we we have ours mm -hmm. um ours are uh well well i think we're both very generous both very, okay that's yeah, nice that's something where we love to help people uh -huh. i mean we, if we see a need we want to fill that need and and help in any way that we can we do yeah. we both love jesus we're both achievers perfectionists competitive right um we're both uh loyal that's true yeah, we, we love our kids to death. Oh, yes, we love our kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're both, mm, I was going to say athletic, but is that even a personality trait? Yeah, I think it's more of an enjoyment or a hobby or something. We okay. said more than three. <laughs> we did. Okay, uh, next on our worksheet, Galatians 5.22. Mm. You want to read that, babe? Sure. All right. So Galatians 5.22 says, But the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Mm. And then Colossians 3 goes on and tells us, so chosen by God for this new life of love, the agape love mm. that we learned about in lesson one, Yeah. dress in the wardrobe God picked out for you, compassion, kindness, humility, quiet strength, discipline, be even-tempered, Content with second place, quick to forgive an offense, 
Forgive as quickly and completely as the master forgave you. And regardless of what else you put on, wear love, agape love. Mm -hmm. It's your basic all-purpose garment. Never be without it. Mm. And then in Ephesians 5, it tells us, And this is why a man leaves his father and mother and cherishes his wife. No longer two, they become one flesh. Mm. What is clearest to me is the way Christ treats the church. And this provides a good picture of how each husband is to treat his wife, loving mm. himself in loving her, and how each wife is to honor her husband. Okay, so I think I'm picking up what God's laying down. <laughs> Two become one on the inside. It's not really a flesh thing. Ah. It's more a heart thing. Mm -hmm. And the fruits of the Spirit, we read those in, in Galatians, mm -hmm. are actually personality traits of okay. the Spirit. And so if you're a believer in Christ, mm -hmm. you and your spouse have the same Holy Spirit living inside you. Yeah. And that same Holy Spirit brings the same personality traits the fruits of the spirit that's right yeah so that means every christian has been given new personality traits mm -hmm. yep new personality traits which are actually super natural ones oh my gosh <laughs> yes so those again would be love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control forgiveness compassion and empathy. Wow. 12 <laughs> personality traits that are an exact match between both of us and both of you too. That's right. That's how two become one. It's on the inside, not the outside. The same 12 personality traits that God gives us through the Holy Spirit. That's who you are, along with your natural personality traits. Mm -hmm. And those are not bad, by the way. No. Those traits are exactly how and what God made you like. Mm -hmm. And they are only bad if we misuse or abuse those traits. Okay, so your natural personality traits are only bad mm -hmm. if you misuse or abuse them. Mm -hmm. But your natural God-given personality traits are not bad because God gave you those exactly. for a reason. Exactly. Right. And it's to complement and be, and be different mm -hmm. from your spouse. You can complement each other. Right. And this is kind of... That just reminds me of what happened the other day at the dollar store with me and Dana. <laughs> oh, yes. How Good our personalities story. are so <laughs> different, but they complement each other. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're at, the, we're at the dollar store, and Dana's got a cart full of things, and she pulls up to the, to the checker, and I'm standing there kind of bored behind the cart. Dana's doing her tasks, taking items from her cart, putting it up onto the, the, the conveyor belt, mm -hmm. talking to the, the checker. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm kind of wandering my eyes around looking and me being a people person and be being curious by nature. That means part of my natural God given personality is I'm curious yes, yes. and I'm curious about people. <laughs> and when it's in a store, I'm curious why people are buying certain things like why are they buying that spice? I wonder what they're going to use that for. Yes. He is a cart watcher. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a cart looker in her. I, lo I look cringe. Ready? I look in people's carts. Yep. What are you buying? What's in there? Okay, so I'm standing at the checker. I look in the cart behind me. It's a lady. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She's probably in her 50s. I'm looking in her cart, and I see something, well, strange to me. <laughs> she had, like, a big stack of, like, 20 of these square things that you, the cloth things, that they're thick and they're cloth. You put a hot pot on off the pot stove holders. onto a <laughs> pot holders. That's yes. what they're called. Yeah. On the counter. So it doesn't yep. burn the countertop. She had 20 of those all stacked up. And then she had a whole bunch of little canisters in her cart. And it was Christmas time. So everything was red and green. And the, the pot holders had like Santas and snowmen on them and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And so I'm looking and Dana probably notices me looking. is like, Cam, oh, yeah. don't bother. Please don't bother. <laughs> Please thought, don't bother. I had to bother her. So I said, hey, why are you buying those? I'll bet you're making a craft. Those were his words. I bet you're making a craft. Total strange lady right behind me. And this was her response. Oh my gosh, I'm totally making a craft. Mm -hmm. I said, well, tell me. Tell me. what? Explain. 
She said, okay, so I'm taking each of these pot holders yeah. and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to put it in each of the canisters and then I'm going to bake some Christmas cookies mm -hmm. with some pretty paper, wrap it up and put the cookies in the pot holder in the canister and I'm going to give it to all my families and friends and that's my Christmas gift this year. I'm doing like 20 of them for two or three dollars a piece. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh my gosh, that is so brilliant and so creative. Those are adorable. I'm glad I asked you. Yeah, and you know what? We walked out of the store that day after we finally checked out, but we walked out of the store and we're walking to the parking lot and I just thought to myself, and then I said to Cam, I'm like, you know what? You totally made that lady's day by asking her what she was doing with all those things she was buying. Her face just lit up and she was so excited to explain what she was going to do. And it made me think like, how many times have I missed out on opportunities of blessing somebody and letting them share something that they were excited about because I was too task oriented. So I think that's kind of what you're talking about, how we can complement each other's personalities. 100% that's how we complement. And that's just one example of how Dana and I's personalities complement each other. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I can make her more aware of others. Yeah. That there are people around her that have needs and people around her have emotions as well. They're not all, not everybody's a robot. No, and yeah. Then, yeah, and then this is how this is how she compliments me. She reels me back in. Exactly. <laughs> she 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 prevents me from offending people right. or or possibly become uh, appearing as flirtatious right. or annoying people or for being intrusive. Right. 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 Too right. much being too much into people's business. Yeah. So, so we can compl compliment each other's personalities, but it's also important that we know that we need to filter our natural personalities with our supernatural personalities. That's right. 100%, mm -hmm. babe. That's who you are now. So act like it. Yep. You have 12 brand new personality traits. Mm -hmm. And those are an exact match with your spouse. That's right. The Holy Spirit gave them. They are love, mm -hmm. joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, mm -hmm. forgiveness, compassion, and empathy. Mm -hmm. Those are your new supernatural personality traits. That's awesome. So I've got some work to do. <laughs> Me too, babe. <laughs> totally. All right. Mm -hmm. We need to filter our natural personality traits through our supernatural personality traits. Two become one on the inside. Yeah, that's I awesome. get it now. Because we have the Holy Spirit inside us, and he brings those fruits, those personality traits. We're a match. Two become one. Okay. Very good. Thank you, guys. Let me go ahead and close this in prayer. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you for making us so unique and original, like you said. We thank you for making each of us for each other. Mm -hmm. And part of that means um, on the inside, our personalities, our natural personality traits complement each other. So we take on double the pleasure and double the personality in our marriage. Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit inside us that brings those fruits, those brand new 12 personality traits that are an exact match to becoming one on the inside. Help us to act like who we are in Christ. Lord, we thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All, All right, right, guys. We'll see you in session three. Yeah. Right? where we discuss our past, present, and futures. Looking forward to it. Bye, guys.